Good morning, Hank. It's Friday. Hank, your song on Wednesday was brilliant. The best song ever written about particle physics. Frankly, Hank, it was almost intimidatingly good. Like, it made me sad I'm not more talented. I mean, I realize I write books, and to some people that qualifies as a talent, but let me remind you, Hank. Lauren Conrad writes books. But anyway, Hank, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. I've always had this dream that, just like we have a collaborative video channel someday, you know, this is awkward, but maybe someday we could be on stage playing music together. And I know that I can't sing, and that you play the guitar, and that I don't have any rhythm, so I couldn't do bass or drums. But Hank, for the last several months, I have been learning a musical instrument in the hopes that, you know, like, maybe I could be in your band. Come on, Green. That's right, Hank. I want to be your singamajig player. I mean, I've been thinking about it, Hank. What is keeping you from being the next Justin Bieber? You've got the lyrics, you can play the guitar, you've got a great look, it's a little nerdy, but it works. And your Quark song on Wednesday was a great example of how you always write about subjects that matter. Or at least, the subject of matter. Hank, what's standing between you and the next level in your career? To paraphrase the great Christopher Walken, you need more singamajig. Now, Hank, I know what you're wondering. Why should you hire me to be your singamajig player? I mean, anyone with two hands can make singamajigs harmonize. And that's true, Hank. Anyone with two hands can make two singamajigs harmonize. But can they make... Four singamajigs harmonize? No, they can't because they have not been practicing the instrument of the singamajig nonstop for months like I have. And it's not just harmony, Hank. I can make melodies. Hmm? By the way, Hank, I don't know if you knew about these things before today because you don't have a child, but our friend Marina bought them for Henry, and after about 45 seconds of playing with one, he looked up at me, and his eyes said, Hey, Dad, quick favor. I'm gonna need you to go to the store and buy me 500,000 singamajigs. And Henry just woke up from his nap, so I have to go, but that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to throw my hat into the ring as a potential singamajig player, if, you know, you ever find yourself in need of one. Nerdfighters, there's only one week left to pre-order Hank's t-shirt-tastic ode to giraffes who love giraffes. Link in the doobly-doo. And Hank, I'll see you on Monday.